everyone. Today we are going to do the budget for my husband's paycheck, for his first paycheck for October. So I am going to, let me see, okay. I don't know what's going on. All my cameras are giving me issues of not wanting to work and being very blurry every time I try to film a video. So I do not know what's going on with the with the uh, cameras. I might have to put them in the shop to have them looked at because the two cameras that are doing it are my two newer cameras and the one I'm using right now is one I've had for several years so okay we are going to use some orange I got some an orange highlighter here and we are just gonna since the month of October, Halloween. There we go. There we go. Just a little bit. We're gonna budget out the paycheck, paycheck number one for the month of October for my husband. So we're gonna budget income we're going to budget $1,086 can you see that okay just want to make sure that I'm in the shop there because I tried filming this video before and as it coming out blurry you know what maybe I should use the darker pen and I will save that for something else. Okay. We're going to do $1,086. I'll just go over it so you can see it a little better. Okay. So we have the mortgage. The mortgage is going to be $250. Car payment, I have $328 sitting in um, in the account, so I only have to take out $100 because the car payment is $428 for the month, and I have $328 already. I am ahead on the car payment. This this payment is don't have to be made until the end uh, beginning of December. So I'm just going to pay it because the $100 is all I need to pay another month on it. I'm going to pay it, and then I can adjust it for January for when the car payment is due in January. Electric is $50. We have water. The water is $22. Okay. I want to make sure. Okay. Cable. Cable is $18. We have our cell phones. That's $25. Have Capital One. Capital One is $32. The payment went down a little bit. It was $67. And I sent them 68. I don't, I was figuring it was 68, but it was 67. So I was like a dollar over. And made the payment go down to $64 a month. So that I am happy with that. So it came down a couple of dollars, but every little bit helps when you're trying to pay off debt. 
care credit is $53. We have Hulu. Hulu is $7. We have the lawn. Now this is the last month I have to take out for um for the lawn until well until I, I didn't have to take it out this month but I'm going to because my husband has a little extra in his pay and um, this way if I can't make it up one month I already have a month in there but he stops coming the end of this month and he doesn't restart back up again until like March or April I believe so I'll have plenty of time to put the $20 in there that needs to go in there my half of it because this is one my son and I split life insurance life insurance I'm just going to do $10 even though it's only $18.58 a month I don't like to do change so I just round it up to the nearest so I just do like the $10 Amazon yeah I had this one paid off and I charged something on it again, which I shouldn't have done, but I said, you know what, it wasn't that much, so I'm just going to pay it off again the end of this month and then close the card out because it's just too tempting for me to use the card. Food, we bumped this up last month, it's $115 now. Gas is $80. We have Duncan App. That is $20. Now, me and my daughter-in-law have a Grove Collaborative um, subscription. And we split whatever we need for the house which is usually our cleaning supplies um fabric softener dish detergents you know anything we need for household cleaning antibacterial sprays you know that kind of stuff i um we get that from from there and then whatever the bill is my daughter and i split it so this month the bill was thirty dollars so I only have to pay 15 of that because my daughter-in-law pays the other half. So this is $15 for that. Then I have Starbucks app. There we go. Starbucks app. Which is $10. And then I'm going to leave a buffer in the account of forty dollars so let's total this up and see what we come up with I got my calculator right here so we are going to move this in a little bit so you can you can see all right 250 plus 150 Eight hundred and seventy seven dollars. Okay. That is what we are working with. So that will give us a difference. Well, we're gonna do cash envelopes, which is hundred and fifty dollars. So we're gonna put that down here. Add that. This gives us a thousand twenty seven. 
We're going to minus 1,027 from 1,086, which gives us $59, a difference of $59. So I'm just going to write up here. Difference $59. So that is our budget for paycheck number one. Okay, guys, I popped back on. I forgot to tell you um, this is just for my husband's paycheck. Me, for some reason, I don't have any money at this moment, uh, income at this moment. Uh, October is a very slow month for me. Um, I budgeted out like $25 for this month. I will see, maybe I will have something come the last two weeks of October or within the next week or so. Um, but other than that, there is nothing, put me here, nothing for me for this, this half of uh, October. But I figured let me pop back on and let you guys know that because um, normally I do put something in here for my income, but I knew October was going to be a slow month for me. So I um, had nothing to, uh, nothing to record for my income. So hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.